Pickleball, pickleball. There's a lot of suspect things about Karen, Kareen, whatever her name is. Jamie Foxx's daughter saying that her dad, Jamie Foxx, was out of the hospital for weeks now. And as a matter of fact, he was playing pickleball just yesterday. Now, certain reports that are out there claims that <clears throat> Jamie Foxx had a stroke or something like a stroke. If he did, in fact, have a stroke, then Corinne, his daughter's lying because it takes a while. It takes months to recover from a stroke. But this is what they're claiming. It's a lot of it's a lot of speculations. There's talks that there was a scammer trying to scam him. Uh, his, we hear that his life was being threatened. We heard uh, Nick Cannon say that he was poison, poisoned <clears throat> at Diddy's party. This was Nick Cannon that. that made these accusations so there's talks about that but pickleball like who, who does that we, we, we hardly even know what the heck that is it's like so a lot of us have to do the research to find out exactly what it is which is just you're on a tennis court using paddles of some sort to hit these little weird looking balls back and forth But this is this it's still something on my mind that is still it's a question on my mind that still needs to be answered or that I still would like answered. Where did that tattoo go? Did we hear was there any reports out there that claimed why that tattoo was removed? Did Jamie Foxx say he got it removed? And if, he, and if he did claim he got it removed, did he say why he removed it? Or did he just start popping up out of nowhere, this particular Jamie Foxx, Eric Bishop, or whoever you want to call him? We so confused now. We don't know who the hell this guy is. But lately, before being hospitalized, he was popping up, and that tattoo was mysteriously gone from the back of his head. Removing something from the back of your head, especially as far as a laser is concerned, that, that concerns me. Like, how in the hell you get something like that removed from the back of your head? What kind of laser work did you get done to your head? And why did you remove it? Why get the tattoo if you wasn't sure that you were going to still want it later on down the line? Like, what the heck was you going? What mental state were you in when you did get the tattoo <clears throat> I mean he, he, Jimmy Fox did he not tell himself that every day he wakes up anybody that's walking behind him he's going to see that tattoo in the back of his head I mean he obviously wanted it he felt I mean it, it was some kind of meaning or some reasoning behind why he would get a tattoo like that but for nothing to be said and for this tattoo to mysteriously disappear no one questions it or nothing. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> eventually he, he's hospitalized now. All of a sudden he has this, this stroke or, or he was poisoned. We don't know what the hell happened. But his daughter comes out and said, oh, he's he's fine. The media is, is, is running wild. No, you running wild. You know, and I had, I, I like I said before, I met them two. I met those two. It was in 2010 when Jamie Foxx was shooting a pilot 
he was the actually the uh <clears throat> the director of it along with uh was it Tyron Turner from Minister Society I met him in person too I I escorted Jamie Foxx's daughter to Bixel Liquor off of Bixel Street downtown LA because she wanted some snacks before they got their, their stuff catered to their production company. So I had to escort her because she couldn't walk out from that. The area that she was trying to walk out from, you can't walk there. You got you can only drive in and out of there. But you can our procedures was, I was doing security there. You couldn't walk out of there. So I politely escorted her. And then I politely escorted uh, Tyron Turner, too, because he was trying to go as well. And he was kind of like, man, what, 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 what you talking about, dog? Like, I can't walk. I said, nah, you can't, bro. My, I'm sorry. If it was up to me, I'll let you walk, man. I'm a fan, man. Minister Society, dog. Michael Jordan Playground. Like, I know who he is. I grew up on him. But at the same time, I had to do my job at that time. But, uh, you know, I just hope that his daughter is not conspiring to, to you know, clean out his estate, you know, and, and because a lot of us feel like Jamie Foxx is already dead. So whoever pops up, they haven't announced that he's dead. So we feel like, all right, they've been cloning him or something. Allegedly, allegedly. YouTube allegedly allegedly I feel like he was cloned or they replacing him they get they buying time to try to come up with some kind of way to, to bring this this new Jamie Foxx out with the no tattoo on the head and then they're gonna figure out how to navigate situations with the daughter I almost feel like she was either threatened to say that to try to defend her dad or she's in on the play but either way, they're running a play on us, allegedly. But I don't know, man. When you when you play those Hollywood games and you get involved with Hollywood, Hollywood is going to do what they do. They're going to play those games on you. And they're going to run a play. They're going to take you out when you're when they feel like it's time for you to expire. Before you're organic time your, your your time that is you know your your original time clock or your natural time clock that you know we all have an expiration date but hollywood has their expiration date for their celebrities too allegedly so allegedly jamie fox was already taken out in my opinion and it's just a matter of time before they bring out this another a goofy jamie fox you know who we we're just we're just we're just enjoying the shit show really just sit back and watch the show get your popcorn ready but hey man send the prayers man if jamie fox has passed man you know i hope his family get the his estate and, and they can be blessed with whatever he has because there's just some some demonic evil greedy people they just use celebrities especially black celebrities for everything they have and then when they die and they have, you know, maybe some estate for their, you know, or, or something uh, for their family left aside for their family a will. You know, they won't even get the family won't even get it. It's, you know, these like, damn, y'all have enough money. Fucking monsters, man. But anyway, man. I just hope Corinne is not corrupt and that she didn't get <clears throat> tainted and possessed by demons, satanic Hollywood stuff and was she plotting on her dad's life and she's cuz she's been she's clearly lying. That's a lie. Dad was not playing a pickleball. The hell is pickleball? That sounds like some fruit booty stuff. Pickleball. Pause. <laughs>